Okay. <laughs> okay. So, something funny happened. I just uh, got done eating at this place called Dion's, which is basically, this is the pizza spot in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. This is the pizza spot out here. So I, I walked in and it's Sunday, so hours are kind of weird. I'm not used to the hours in Albuquerque. For those of you who don't know, Albuquerque has about uh, 500 something thousand people who live here. So it's a city, but it's not like a huge city. So sometimes in cities like this, the hours are kind of weird, you know? <clears throat> so I came in and I bought two slices of pizza. You know, I love, I love pizza places that sell them by the slice because outside of New York City, you really don't find too many pizza places that sell by the slice. And you know, sometimes you just want a slice or two. You don't want a whole fucking pie. So, and that was the case right now. Um, so I walked in and I went to the front and there was like a, you know, 18 year old, 20 year old girl, probably, I don't know, maybe 16, 18, a young little thing working the cash register. And she says, she says, okay, two slices of cheese. That will be 614. So I have a 10. I'm about to hand her the 10, but I'm like, you know what? Hold on a second. I think I have 14 cents. And she looks at me and she goes, Oh, but, but, but 10 will cover it. I, I don't know why you need to put more in. 10 will cover it. And I'm like, wow, you're dumb. <laughs> I, I explained to her, I'm like, no, if I give you $10, that means you have to give me $3.86 back. But if I give you $10.14, then you can give me four crisp George Washington dollars back. And so, okay, so I gave her $10.14. My bill was $6.14, so she owed me $4. This bitch was so confused. She gave me the money. I went and sat down at my table, and I realized she gave me $5. So I made a dollar off this dumb bitch. You know, I, I feel great. I made a dollar off a dumb bitch. I didn't even try. Uh, you know, I know, you know, maybe the level of education in, in New Mexico probably is not the highest, but god damn, man, if these bitches out here are that dumb, I could tell a girl, hey, uh, if a girl ever said, like, hey, where's the water fountain around here, like in a park, I could just unzip my pants and be like, here, here's the water fountain. And she'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I just became an inadvertent quick change artist. I'm a quick change artist now, and I had no intention. I had totally, my intention was to pay exactly what I owed, but she gave me too much money back. And the way I see it is, well, I got back to my table. I'm like, she's a dumb bitch. I don't need, I am not obliged by nature to get up and give them the dollar back to make things right. That's her problem. You got to hire, hey, Dion's. Hey, hey, Dion's. You got to hire people who can do basic arithmetic. Because, I mean, think about it. That might actually be the perfect wife. If that bitch doesn't know that $10.14 minus $6.14 is four, that's the type of bitch you could tell her you got a 12-inch dick and she'd believe you. She'd be like, oh. And she'd be telling all her friends, yeah, you know, my boyfriend's got a 10-inch dick, you know? And, uh, you know, really you don't. But imagine, I mean, if you get a girl who's bad with arithmetic, I mean, you could, God, just the possibilities. But yeah, I mean, this has happened before. And I think sometimes it's because the, the cashier is stupid. I think other times it's because the way I look, it kind of like takes them by surprise. I look, I, let's, let's just say I'm not the type of person who could ever rob a bank. Not like that's even a thing anymore because ain't nobody really look like me. So immediately my face would get plastered all over the town and people would be like, oh yeah, it's that guy. He did it, you know? I remember one time I went to Palm Springs and uh, I ordered a burrito at this place and it was like, I think it was like $8 and I gave him a 20. So I was supposed to get $12 back and he gave me $32 back. <laughs> so he gave me like two $20 bills. I like, what? <laughs> that happened. And, and I'll tell you, man, you know, gas was starting to get expensive at that time. I didn't say a goddamn thing. I said, thanks brother. That's this, this is going to fill my tank up enough to get me to Phoenix. That's just amazing. The, the, uh, the entry level math skills, the entry level people skills aren't even there. The entry level math skills are not there. It's just, it's, it's over, man. It's over for the vast majority. You go inside a shop nowadays and I mean, it, this must be a paradise for, for real quick change hustlers who are really running this scam because 
you know, I've seen people operate like this in the gas station before and they confuse the cashier and the cashier's like, wait, huh? You know, and before they know it, you know, they walk out with like $90 more than they came in with. So it's a thing, but it's like, you don't even have to be a quick change artist anymore because at restaurants and at, at stores and stuff, people will literally just make mistakes on their own. And I'm really surprised they haven't come out with cash registers yet that dispense the exact change to totally do away. Well, I mean, they do self checkouts, you know, but it's amazing how uh, the point of sale system in, in old school places hasn't adapted yet because I know the cash register will typically say like, this is how much the customers owed, but the person working the register is just so oblivious and so retarded. Now, I don't know, this was a young little chippy. She might've been 16, 18, 20, it's hard to tell. So I might've rolled up with a big fat wallet, gold on my wrists and my fingers and my neck. And she probably might be looking at me wondering if I, if my nipples are pierced with, you know, one ounce, uh, one ounce, 24 karat gold hoops. I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking, but all I know is that if you want to work some, I, I didn't even, didn't even intend to today. But if you want to work some magic, some hypnotic magic on people, all you have to do is essentially look like you are not like other people or like you are filthy fucking rich. Either or will do it. There's no other way to do it. Either you need to look so iconoclastic, not like a clown, not like an eccentric clown. Like, you know, some homeless people will will dress really eccentric. Not like that. You need to look like so different from the average person. Or you just need to look like filthy rich. You need to walk in like like you're Andrew Tate, or you need to walk in like you are just like uh, I don't know, like you're, you know, Woody Allen in a fucking you know 1980s velour tracksuit. You know that's about it. That's pretty much the way to play this game. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, hey bitch, you know, thank you for the extra dollar. I'm gonna go over to the grocery store right now and go get a a bottle of sparkling water with that before I retire to my quarters for the night. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, every time there's a dumb bitch born on this planet, it's, it's just, it's just amazing. You know, it's just amazing. Now, eventually soon enough, all cashier functions will be robotic and there will be no more margin for error anymore. There will be no more abilities for people to hustle the cashier, right? Or sweet talk the dumb little 16 year old broad, you know, who doesn't even know how to count properly because she never needed to learn because all she needed to know was can I fit a eight inch penis in my mouth? That's all she needs to know. Some of these bitches, man, like some of these bitches are, are more accurate than a tape measure, you know, with that, that's what they know. But when it comes to dispensing the proper change, nah, no, they don't really have that down too well. So, so thank God, you know, thank that. I thank that woman for her sacrifice. Um, I was going to, I kept my mouth shut, but I was going to tell her, Hey, I understand, you know, I don't really expect you especially to have that much up top. But uh, I think that probably would have gone over her head too. That probably would have gone up top, if you know what I mean, pun intended. So that's why when you see a dumb person like that, you literally just have to look at them and be like, wow, let me take this in for a second because this is almost refreshing. Just this level of stupidity, like you almost can become a predator by seeing that level of stupidity. It's like, oh God, if there weren't so many people around here, I could probably tell that bitch I'm like publisher's clearinghouse. I'm Ed McMahon, you know, give me all the money in your purse and I'll give you a million dollar check right now. She'll be like, okay, oh, that sounds really good. I've got like $400 in my purse. Like just, just give that to you. And then you give me the million dollar check. Yeah, honey, that's, that's how this goes. Just when you give me the $400, just, just close your eyes because it only works if you close your eyes And you got to tap your heels real slow, like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, but really slow, like she just drank some purple scissor or something, you know? And then by the time she opens her eyes, you're long fucking gone. You know, you're out out the door fucking mooning her, about to jump in the car. Yeah. There's nothing more inductive on planet Earth than a dumb bitch. There's nothing more inductive on planet Earth than a stupid bitch. And women know this. They know there's nothing more magnetic than a stupid woman or a woman convincingly pretending to be stupid there's nothing more magnetic than that because it it literally makes your dick diamonds you're like oh god this woman is really fucking dumb i bet she can she could suck the fucking epidermis off my dick like like she could 
she could she's like she's like a stucco artist she could fucking lather some fucking spit on my dick and she can fucking suck that epidermis right off when you see a dumb bitch that's exactly what goes through your head even if you're not conscious of it you're just like damn this bitch is literally a fucked all like this woman is literally a series of holes connected by skin which is like a bridge you know she's basically her being is like a bridge a bridge from mouth to vagina to asshole that's it you know and a cool thing about a girl like that is they it's really easy to make them cry so the cool thing is their pussy if you fuck them so much their pussy starts getting dry you can just make them cry and then lubricate their pussy with their tears oh god i'm just i'm just amazing patreon.com slash the soft spoken shaman for exclusive content the soft spoken shaman at gmail.com to read all my books which will make you laugh will make you cry and will make you learned and illumined